Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and as you can see with our portfolio today, we had a pretty small loss. I guess you would say small compared to some of the other drops that we've had recently, but as you can see in the normal market hours for today, we lost 0.72% of our portfolio, which is $465, and then in the after hours, we almost lost just as much as that with a minus 0.66% or minus 0.63% as it just changed which is minus $401. So in total, we have lost about $865 today, about $870. So at least we didn't lose a thousand, but the only thing that I have to say about this is it's unfortunate because tomorrow is seeming like it's going to be like a guaranteed negative as well, a red day as well, just like today was. But as you can see, it started out above the market until about midday and lunchtime, and then it went down i thought we were just going to have like a barely positive market day when i checked my phone this morning because it did start out like 0.48 percent above the market and then it started raising up until about that uh 10 45 a.m mark and then it went back up just a little bit and then we had that slow decline until the end of the day and then it decreased even more in the after hours which is pretty unfortunate but let's go ahead and check out VOO since it's like the general mirror of the stock market. It's just the general trend. Usually that's what I consider it as. It just basically represents the stock market. In my opinion, that's the way that I look at it. But as you can see, it pretty much did the same thing as my portfolio. And usually a lot of these are going to be pretty, con pretty similar considering that VOO also includes larger holdings of Apple and Microsoft. So pretty much my portfolio is a, a decent representation of the market besides my tesla holding but as you can see pretty much did the same thing minus only minus 0.02 percent for the day and then we lost a lot more in after hours which was minus 0.59 percent so that's a 182 dollar loss or minus 0.61 percent in total and then we are down 12.22 percent which is about minus 4152 dollars which is a pretty good amount of money if you ask me so i'm hoping we can get that back up there but I'm not I'm not holding my breath for that one. And then next up we have Microsoft. That's a good old minus 1.69% total, but minus 1.21% for today and then minus 0.49% in the after hours. So we had a much larger decline with Microsoft it seems like like it went down pretty much since 10 8 10 45 a.m or 11 a.m it went down and as you can see that's minus 285 dollars for today. Luckily we're still in the positive with Microsoft. I'm up 7.27% or $1,121. Pretty solid. I'm happy with that nice 1K I've gotten so far with that. And then Apple, which was a minus 1.05%. Looks like not too much of a loss today. It's sort of, actually, that's minus 1.05%. That I think that thing was wrong there on the sidebar. But yeah, so we minus 0.39% for today. It actually spiked up pretty high until 1040, but it also started on the baseline. And then minus 0.67% in the after hours. So we lost $121 with Apple. We are a little bit barely negative, minus 4.46%, or minus $535 in total. So I feel like Apple is just right on the edge of recovering, and it just depends on what the market is going to do. But I still think Apple is an excellent long-term stock. And then finally, we have Tesla, which is one of the most interesting stocks that I like to look at. As you can see, it's finally under $700. It's $697, starting to look a little bit attractive, I have to admit. But I would probably not buy any more Tesla unless it's under 500 or 450. But as you can see, started out with a huge loss with the today with minus 3.62%. Started out at baseline and declined the whole way down until 4 p.m. And then it declined another 1.22%. So as you can see, we lost $280 today. We are back up to minus 14.13%. And we are down at $917. So we are starting to get way back up there in terms of the negative percent, which is unfortunate. But I feel like in the long term, there's nothing really to worry about. Just within a, within just a few years, I feel like Tesla is going to dominate the automotive industry just because it's such a disruptive stock or disruptive company. It's like disrupting a whole industry. I think this is going to do great things, honestly. But in total, I'm, I'm kind of afraid this could be the start of something bad. Like, I hope it's not the start of another huge crash or a recession, but I feel like it's certainly possible. If you don't know already, I think we had 4 million more people that have signed up for unemployment that they announced today. So that's just another representation of our current situation. And past this bottom point right here, I feel like the market hasn't reacted realistically 
to our current news and situations. So this whole increase right here, this whole bull run did not feel realistic. So that is something that I'm worrying about because I feel like maybe it's going to finally catch up with us and catch up with the market. And then we're going to have an even larger drop than this one right here, which would be so unfortunate. And I would love to not have to experience that. But I feel like it is likely and it could happen. But I could also be wrong and we could recover from this. So you never really know. And it's really hard to predict the market accurately and consistently. But I do think it's possible that we have not hit the bottom yet like i've said in many many other videos but i thought i would just share my thoughts and opinions about the market as i always say in these videos this is not anything that i say is not to be considered financial advice it is simply me sharing my thoughts and opinions about the market the moves that i'm making and my gains and losses and by the way if you would like to start investing feel free to use my referral links in the description below if you sign up with my referral link we'll both get a free stock which is pretty awesome and you can do that for both Robinhood and weeble and if you all enjoy these daily portfolio up update videos please make sure to smash that like button drop a like on the video really does help me out but i hope you all enjoyed and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your week